starting your broadcast. We got two viewers already. That is so wonderful. Hi. Hi, guys. Oh, there. You got to say hi to this thing, but you don't have to lean into it. Uh, we are. Uh, let's welcome to TED TV. Uh, we're live at the Vanilla Bean Bakery. Yes. You know we're be talking that direction, so we don't seem to pick us up. It's a brand new restaurant on Ocean Park and 30th in Santa Monica. They opened just uh, a couple of months back, and we are going to talk to the owner and operator. We're going to score some lunch, and we're going to tell you all guys all about this great new place. That's right. You know what one of the great things about this place was? We came in, Michael and I came in on Tuesday, which many of you don't was our one year anniversary. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> and as soon as we told David, who is the young blonde gentleman up at the cashier, that it was our anniversary, he automatically gave us two red velvet cupcakes on the house, oh, which nice. was very sweet, I yeah. thought. And it kind of gives, it really lends the homey feel of the place, that kind of attitude, that sort of, we want to celebrate your good times with you attitude. So we, uh, Ted and I thought we'd come here, we'd try some stuff. Absolutely. You know, because, you know, at TED TV, we want to bring it all to you. We want to bring as much as we can. That's right. Because uh, when you come to visit in, you know, Southern California, when you come to Santa Monica or you come to Venice, you want to go to the best places to eat. You want to go to the best places to hear music or have coffee, uh, see the boardwalk. We bring all that to you. We review things and, and try to make, uh, you know, uh, try to bring Venice to you live. And today we've left the confines of Venice and we are in Santa Monica. We're actually in Santa Monica, my home turf. We're in Scarlett's home turf. And I want to introduce my co-host. She jumped in here before I could sit there and say, welcome, Scarlett Savage. Thank you. She is the co-host of TED TV. We love having her. I'm going to see if we can oh, the, grab the owner. Doesn't it look tell you, great? Everything smells and looks delicious here. And I can't wait to try things out. I should give you guys just a little bit of a quick look around here. Right? Let's get some... Not beautiful home touches. I, I like the candy myself <laughs> on the wall. Okay, I'm going to go grab the owner operator while you're giving him the tour. He's got the I think we need to go over there. Okay, we've got David Solomon. Oh, he's going to talk to us? Okay. Yeah, because Alice... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, Alice is a little shy, apparently, but she does want David to talk on her behalf. This is David hello, Solomon. Hello. And your position here, David? I am a little bit of an everything man. Jack uh, of all trades. Pretty much. Uh -huh. uh, whatever I need to be at that day. <laughs> Sounds like Ted. <laughs> awesome. There we go. Mm. And I want, Scarlett, you go ahead and, and, you know, I'm going to come jump on this side. Sure. Why don't you do that? All right. And I'm going to get this microphone so it's picking up both you guys. I act as the producer as well as the co-host. <laughs> logistics, it's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet Thank you, Thank you for having us of here. Course. So, David Solomon, how did you get involved? Can you stay right here? Yeah, 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 Should yeah, I move forward? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should I move forward? Okay. Perfect. That, that could be better. better. I love it. I didn't think about that. He's too clever for me. Yeah, David Solomon, how'd you get involved with the Villain of Beam? Oh, that's uh, actually a pretty funny story. I uh, was unemployed at the time and looking for work mm -hmm. regularly, and it just so happened that they were starting this new place, which I think we went through four or five different names before <laughs> we finally got to Vanilla Bean Bakery. So I ended up just coming in to help out because they wanted to start the new business and they didn't have anybody to run it. So I came here and pretty much been here since day one. So that Vanilla Bean Bakery, that really conjures up some homespun images for me. Yes. You know, you think of going into a small little place. Exactly. And you know, as you can see, it's like more like a bakery and cafe. One of the things that we did find uh, whenever we were going through our name changes, one of them was the dessert cafe I think. <laughs> and that just didn't work at all no. <laughs> everyone thought that we just had desserts we were like well we have a lot of really great food to offer but mm -hmm. well, yeah the vanilla bean the name like, as soon as she told me we, we were gonna go to the vanilla bean I, I it, it conjures up uh, your taste buds kind of sound right? like it. It's, 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 yeah it's it definitely implies that uh, we have a lot of sweets to offer and you know we do we That's actually do one of the things I think that we do to separate ourselves from other companies is that uh, we break we bake fresh homemade cookies every day oh. 
and then uh, everyone gets one with their meal. So that's a nice. They get a free cookie, free homemade cookie with every meal. Are you kidding? So you get great food and a little bit of sweet. Oh, that's great. Well, I already told the story before you came over here. It was Michael and I came over yes. and you gave us our, our anniversary of cupcakes. Of course, of course. That was very, very sweet. And we loved them, by the way, especially the red velvet. That was my personal favorite. Ah, the red velvet, we get a lot of great reviews for the red velvet. You guys have been really steadily growing. And when, yes. you, when you started off, you said you're a little bit slow, but it's, all right. you have to do is put a sandwich board out. Exactly. And people just started flocking to the place. Who knew? Oh, yeah, no. All we needed was the sandwich board, and then everyone started coming in. I guess yeah, we you told me that yeah. story this morning. Now, how long have you been here? Uh, I want to say two months and some change. Oh, wow. So probably right either a little over or a little under two months. Oh, you guys are really new. Yes, That's we are great. very, very new. And so when you, you had just a minimal business until that sandwich board went out there and all of a sudden people knew you were here? Well, we started doing it. One of the problems that we had is there was a company here before that I it guess... It was like a hot dog rubbed, place. Yeah. Yeah. They just rubbed everyone the wrong way. Oh. Nobody was happy with it. So there was a big confusion because we decided, you know, to keep hot dogs because whenever we were first starting out, you know, we didn't have a whole lot and we did do hot dogs. However, we did them a lot better, but we had that huge confusion are we that company and every day I had to say no we're not <laughs> the hot dog place that was here before it said it like 500 times a day and right. it was super obnoxious but yeah <laughs> obviously now we're about to get our sign and then I don't have to answer that question anymore. oh that's great it'll be that's very very exciting Oh. And on Ocean Park, on Ocean Park and 30th is located in Santa Monica. I mean, you really don't get a better location than that. The foot traffic oh, no. alone has got to be amazing. We have a lot of foot traffic. Uh, we've really been supported not, not just by the residential area, but uh, the businesses have responded really, There's really well. There's a huge amount of, business, uh, of office parks right yes. down there, and they're yes. coming in. The, we get a huge draw from Activision, the video game company. They love to come here. We get the tennis channel that's just down the street. They love to come here. We get people that work at other restaurants. <laughs> that want to come here. Wow! So. Did you guys hear that? They're poaching from other restaurants. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, we've really done our, our business has solely flourished due to word of mouth. That's and hilarious. I would say, you know, the second that we have a sign. Uh, that's that's really where it's going to be really exciting to see how much more business we get, how much of a better response we get, not just from people in the area, but from people out of the area that want to go and eat somewhere that's good, that's definitely worth your dime. Right. Especially in the hard times, if you're going to spend money somewhere, yeah. you know, yeah. you might as well get everything that you pay for. So that's one thing that we really like to, that's to pride ourselves on. It's a great philosophy, and I wish more people would uh, take that on because you know I, I'm a consumer, and yeah. I exert I exert my consumer rights when when I go oh, to yeah. a place, yeah, and if I'm given bad service or oh, you know, if it's unforgivable things, where I won't go back, exactly. and I will make a public stink, you know. Exactly. Exactly. You know, it, it, some of these, some of these businesses are just so big that yes. they just don't care about their customers customers anymore. And it's one reason why I love to support mom and pop local shops mm -hmm. and uh, and give them my business because these chains, you know, yeah, you keep on going. There's plenty of plastic people eating Pretty plastic much. food, but I want to keep something special that's homemade, that that's created here, you know, that's thought up by someone here, you know, not in Houston, exactly, Texas, and menus being exactly. The, the home touch for me is what gets. I mean, when he walked in, he said, "Hi, Scar." Like he met me once before, once. I came in once, and he remembers my name. Everybody's getting free homemade cookies. That's what I'll come back for. Yeah. I'll forget a bad meal if, if I get good service, frankly. Well, yeah. That's really what we try to pride ourselves on, especially being a new business. You know, we really wanted to add that personal touch. You know, just to say welcome, right. thank you for coming and seeing us, that's as opposed so to you know going and seeing somebody else. Right. Ensuring that, you know, we all have jobs. <laughs> <laughs> now, before you opened up here, what, what was, was there, was there an entity of the, was, was it a bakery out of someone's house or was it? It was actually, uh, it was really a rocky start in the beginning. <laughs> um, we were having a terrible time trying to brand ourselves and figure out, you know, this is a new place that's separate from any other place that they're affiliated with. They actually own all of the novel cafes. 
uh, in Los Angeles, and I believe Maxwell's, I'm uh, not exactly sure what the other name of that company is, but mm-hmm. it's, it's Maxwell's Cafe or whatever. Um, I've never been in one, but I think so I've seen them. all of the novel cafes, minus the one next door, uh, we're affiliated with. But this one was the first one to kind of branch out and be completely different than those other two entities. So, you know, as far as uh, the feel, as far as um, just, you know, the taste of everything, we got to pretty much start from scratch and figure out what we wanted to do. So, you know, again, at one point we wanted to just say bakery, 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 but then, you know, we weren't getting our food we weren't getting our food advertised but right. we needed to right. and then you know people would come in and have they would go oh you have more than cupcakes and things we'd go yes we do <laughs> <laughs> and then you know they would try once and then they came back again and again and again and again and again so well, it's the name really is so important because like the novel cafe for right. example it's something that ted and i i mean we heard about this back in new hampshire you want to go to the novel cafe you go and it's a restaurant it might be the greatest restaurant in the world but the reality is i wanted a coffee house with yeah. all kinds of novels around right. that's yeah. what it was supposed to be exactly. right exactly. i was so disappointed so even though it might be a great restaurant i'm let down from the get-go exactly you know? exactly so this one we really just wanted to make it just a bright friendly place somewhere that would really like be a place where you could take a time out in your day. Mm, nice. Like, especially due to the fact that we are in a very, very business-oriented area. Very. Uh, you know, we'll get people that just come in, and we meet them every day, we see them every day, and they'll come in, get their cup of coffee, or they'll get their sandwich, and they'll just come and relax for a little bit. It, so. It's a nice place to relax. I like the high ceilings, the music, the air temperature here is oh. nice. I mean, you guys really are looking out for your customer. Love the you lighting. Know. I love the non-fluorescent all the lighting. Windows. Definitely yeah. nice, nice even, even lighting. All the windows definitely help to fill out right, the lighting. Right. That's for sure. Now, um, do you feel that the vanilla bean is is uh, at its um, as it has it? Is it matured to, to, it to what you want? Is it uh, it's, a future? To, I it mean, it definitely it, has a future. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's really going to just be exciting to yeah. see, to say the least, uh, how much we're going to be able to grow from here. Right. Uh, again, if we've done super well just with word of mouth, I feel that the second that we have a sign where people are just driving down the street and they've never stopped by and they don't live in the area and they don't know anybody who does, then that'll be an eye-catching thing and then that'll bring in that person and then they'll tell their friends and then they'll tell their friends. And we're going to tell our know, friends. Yeah. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, you know, we're just expecting that we can continue to flourish and it's just going to be exciting to see where we go from here. That's that's great. That is very exciting. I'm going to take a cut right here because I want to get that up on the YouTube. I keep all my segments 10 minutes or okay. short so we can keep them okay. coming to them live. Then uh, we'll put David on the spot and have him recommend something. Oh, oh I have venue. lots of recommendations. Uh, lots of recommendations. 